New right now at 4.30, if you've been on social media lately, there's a pretty good chance you have seen some videos of people trying to balance, maybe run or jump, eventually falling right off stacks of milk crates like that right there. Uh, it's called the Milk Crate Challenge. It's gone viral online, but it's also sending a lot of people to the hospital, some getting seriously hurt. It's gotten so, bu uh, so bad, TikTok has actually now banned the videos. They're taking them down. Joining us this afternoon to talk more about it is ER doctor uh, Charles John. He is the System EMS Medical Director at Hartford HealthCare. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks, Mark. Thanks so much for having me. Have you actually seen folks come into the ER with these injuries? Unfortunately, we, we have had injuries across our health system, but this really dangerous stunt, um, you know, and I worry about its gaining popularity, and those numbers of injuries are probably on the rise, unfortunately. Well, I think when you look at the video, the goal here is to try to run up these uh, stacks of milk crates, which obviously fall right over, uh, and landing people, you know, whether it's on the cement or the ground or something like that. I mean, potentially you're looking at a head injury, a broken leg or an arm or something maybe worse. Certainly, you know, luckily we're, the, the injuries that we're seeing are, are orthopedic injuries that are relatively minor but very painful. Um, but the potential is there for some really life-threatening and serious injuries. You know, the, the organs in the abdominal compartment, such as the spleen and the liver, can be very easily injured by a fall from that height, especially on the corner of a milk crate. Um, to add to that, rib fractures and uh, a collapsed lung called the pneumothorax are also possible from this really dangerous stunt. Is it frustrating for you, doctor, when you see things like this and you think these injuries could be avoided if we just weren't so, you know, stupid about certain things? It is. Our, our hopes are that we can keep people in the community as safe as possible. You know, our, our health care workers across across the state and the country are, are really working diligently to, to work on the increasing number of COVID cases and to vaccinate members of our community. We have so many other priorities. Um, so it is it's silly to, to see injuries that can be for prevented such as this. Yeah, I was just going to say between COVID and everything else that's been going on, uh, you know, all the healthcare professionals are pretty much working around the clock like they never have before. The last thing you need is to see something like this bring people in. Would that be your message right now to anybody out there, teenagers and perhaps parents of teenagers? It is. I think now's the time to keep ourselves safe and to protect each other. You know, let's just avoid injuries and unnecessary trips to the emergency department so our healthcare workers can focus on vaccinating members of our community, working on the increasing number of COVID cases that are coming into our hospital, especially, you know, a really nice start to the a safe start to the new school year would be great. Sure would. Dr. Charles Jondro, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate your time, sir. Anytime. Thanks for having me. Take care.